Hello everybody, Keith here, and uh, no, I'm not going to go through a full-fledged uh, Android uh, demo video today. I wanted to show to folks who maybe are thinking about looking at an Android device um, how Google supplies information. And this came as a surprise to me because I, I haven't done a lot of map searches on the phone. Um, but in the city of Suffolk today, they had a uh, school bus accident. A uh, van hit a school bus. And the street that the accident was on and where the school was for the students, I thought was just a little far. Oops, someone sent me a Facebook message. Gotta love it. Okay, so anyway, oh, that's another thing I do like. My notifications go up there, as you noticed. I'm not having an annoying bubble pop-ups. Uh, but I went to the maps and I said, where is driver... Oh, excuse me, let's go here. And where is Driver Elementary? Because I couldn't remember exactly where in the city it was. So it's given me various choices here, but here's Driver Elementary. This is where I'm talking about information being provided to you that I wasn't expecting. I clicked on it. Hey, it gives me values of housing, average age in the zip code, number of fifth grade students, and as you can see here, it also gives me a sample of a review of the school. Um, this is the only review for this particular one, so I don't know if that's just a disgruntled parent or if this school actually sucks, but knowing public schools nowadays, it probably sucks. Um, now the neat thing is, I can go to Street View, I can check in through Latitudes, I can share this with, uh, uh, I could go to Facebook, I could go to Twitter, I could share it email, uh, SMS messaging, I can search for nearby items, I can do a Google Buzz entry about the place, I could put this information in my contacts, and I can report a problem. So we're going to do Street View. And uh, the one thing I like with... Um, the Android devices for Google Maps is I can look at it either in portrait or landscape mode and uh, the iPhone you had to go uh, landscape but here you know that's uh, portrait and of course here is the landscape and another nice feature um, one difference between the Android devices and the iPhone is the iPhone map has a line where the streets are and you have arrows you click on. Here you got your little street view dude and you hold him down and you should see a little circle like right there. Oh, there's another email. Okay, but I release my finger and you see it moves down the road, so to speak. So we're gonna go back to landscape. Um, but another nice feature is, uh, let's say I wanted directions, I wanted to drive to the school. Uh, let's go back out. Uh, now, I can call the phone number. I can go to the map. Oh, there's my GPS kicking in. Uh, let's say directions. I want driving navigation. See, I could do walking or just get directions. We're going to say driving. Head southwest on Clover Hill Drive toward Cobble Hill Road. Okay. And then if I go to landscape, you see feet, turn right at High Street West. okay let's see here okay and then I can play through the directions if I want it okay now this is yeah the long way is probably the shortest way I was thinking about going on the interstate but um, it's just nice um, I like this better than my regular GPS I have in the car uh, the only problem is you do have to have data connection. If you're somewhere where you have no signal, then it's not going to work. So that is the one drawback. But uh, for most around town driving, I've played with it. Uh, works pretty neat. But uh, we're going to go out of that, go back to my maps, close it out. It's just uh, a nice touch how Google pulls data together. And I just wanted to share this with folks in case um, you have never used an Android device and you're thinking about it. Let's see, I've got a missed phone call. They've left a voicemail. Uh, my Pulse RSS reader has some new stories. 
uh, 10 new check-ins through Foursquare and I have four email messages in my Google account and I have a Facebook message so let's see here we're gonna close that back up well that's all I can show you for now as you can see I got some emails and some uh, other stuff I need to take care of on the phone but uh, again it's just it's really interesting how Google pulls data together that's relevant that uh, you're not even thinking about you know I was just curious where the school was at here it's pulling up uh, neighborhood information it's pulling up reviews of schools um, I found that pretty fascinating and thought you might like it as well so um, enjoy and uh, look forward to sharing some more uh, tech stuff with you soon